All right, guys, so today we're gonna be talking about drawing electric field lines. When we're talking about this lesson with uh, electric field lines and drawing them, it's not um, a black and white kind of thing. It's not like you're gonna be seeing the same thing every single time, it might look different, but it's to help you get a general idea of how these electric field lines work. So the electric field lines surrounding three charges shown in the figure, the center charge, Q2, uh, is equal to negative t 10 microcoulombs. So we're gonna say this one is equal to negative 10 microcoulombs, okay? What is charge Q1 and charge Q3? So when we're looking at this problem here, this we know is a negative charge because it's pointing inward. So it's going towards the charge. When the electric field line is going towards the charge, we know it's negative. And we should know these two are positive because we can see that the electric field is going outwards away from uh, the charge. So we know these are both positive. What we can do is we can count how many electric field lines is going towards this negative charge. So we can say um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So we can see 16 field lines are going towards it. Is that just pretty much a reference point? So now if we look at this one and we can see how many field lines are going out of it, we can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we know if there's eight coming out of it and 16 going to this one, that means this is gonna be half of the amount of charge that this one has. So if this is negative 10 microcoulombs, this is gonna be half of that. So this one is gonna be positive five microcoulombs. Okay. Since we know it's going outward, that's why we know it's positive. And since it has half the amount of lines as negative, then we know it's gonna be half of 10, which is five. Same thing over here is going outward. We see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Half of this one over here, which is 16. So this one is also gonna be positive five microcoulombs. Okay. That being said, we can say Q1 is equal to positive five microcoulombs. And then Q3 is also equal to positive five microcoulombs, okay? And we did that primarily by looking at the at Q2 here and see how many electric field lines it has compared to what Q1 had and what Q3 had, okay? So let's look at the next example, which is gonna be a little bit more complicated, but same kind of idea. Suppose that Q2 is not known, so we don't know what this is. Instead, it is given that Q1 plus Q2 is equal to negative 2.5 microcoulombs. Find Q1, Q2, and Q3. Okay, so this one's interesting. So what we know is charge one is plus charge two is equal to negative 2.5 microcoulombs, okay? Somehow, now we have to figure out all three of these. So, you can think about this for a second, but what we should know, what we should know is again, this is positive because it's going outward. This one's negative because it's going inward. This one's positive because it's going outward. So we should know this is negative. Another, and these are positive. Another thing we should know is this has twice as many electric field lines as this one. And this one has twice as many field as, as this one right here, okay? We know Q1 and Q3 are the same. And we know Q1 is half as uh, big or half the amount of charge as Q2. If that's the case, well, how we can rewrite this is we could write this as Q1. Um, okay, so could, we could write this as uh, Q1 minus 2Q1 is equal to negative 2.5 microcoulombs. Because I know Q2 is twice as big as Q1 and it's negative. So I changed Q2 to be negative 2Q1 and I wrote it like this. So now what I could do is I could say that, uh, simplify this a little further, negative Q1 is equal to negative 2.5 microcoulombs and I could say Q1 is equal to 2.5 microcoulombs. Now, if I know Q1 is equal to 2.5 microcoulombs, I should know this one's gonna be exactly the same. So I can say Q3 is equal to 2.5 microcoulombs. And lastly, what I can say about Q2 is I know that Q2 is gonna be twice as big, but negative. So Q2 is gonna be negative five microcoulombs. Okay. 
So hopefully uh, that all makes sense, but you should again use the reference of how many electric field lines each of them have, and then you can see how big each charge is compared to the other charge, and you can figure that out. There are many ways to do this problem, so if you didn't do that way, no problem. All right, so now it's time for us to start drawing these electric field lines. Again, these don't have to be exact. It can be, it can be shown any way you want, it just to get an idea of more how these electric field lines work and get it more worked in your brain. So sketch the electric field lines for the figure below. So we know this has a charge of positive Q, this is a negative 2Q, and this is a positive 4Q. We, it doesn't say what Q is, but it doesn't matter. We know that Q3 is four times bigger than Q1. And we know that Q2 is two times bigger than Q1 and it's also negative, okay? So how I would start with this is I would start with just kind of making reference. So you can do this however you like, but I'm gonna say that Q is, uh, this first charge here is gonna have two charges. Okay, so two, uh, sorry, sorry, I should say two field lines. So if this is gonna have two field lines, I should know that this over here is gonna have four field lines because this one is twice as big, okay? And if this one has four field lines and this one has two field lines, that means this one over here is gonna have eight field lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay? So you could have done this differently. You could have said this one had four field lines and then that me would mean that this would have eight and that means this would have 16. So, but whatever you drew, it has to be consistent. So whatever, how many field lines you drew for this one, this one has to have twice as much. And then however many you drew for this one, it ha this one has to be four times as much, okay? Doesn't have to be uh, exactly what I did, but it has to be, uh, it has to match out like that. Now that we have that, we know that these positive and these negatives attract, so we're gonna to have to draw these field lines. So it's going to go, I'm gonna draw something like this, something like this. And maybe I'll do it all in one color, actually. I'll do it all in green. And then this one is going there. This one is going there. Okay. And next thing that we should know is that positive go outwards. So this is going outwards like this. And what we should know is this negative is going inwards and that's what's happening, it's going into the negative. Again, over here, we, could, we should connect these. Connecting it like that. Connecting like that. And again, negative is going inwards. Positive is going outwards, so it works out perfectly. So it's gonna look something like this. And then for these ones, uh, it doesn't really have enough to connect, so we can kind of draw them going outwards like this. And then we can just draw it going out. Okay. It can look a little bit different, but this should be the general idea where this has uh, twice as many electric field lines as this one, and this one has four the amount, and then uh, we should be connecting towards the negative one, and the uh, other the excess ones are just kind of going outwards. Okay. All right, now for the grand finale. So for this here, this one could be a bit complicated. So we have a positive charge, a positive charge, and a negative charge. Uh, we're gonna say that they all have the same amount of charge. So what that means is they should all have the same amount of, they should have the same amount of electric field lines. So I'm gonna say they all have four field lines. Uh, you could have done it differently. It could be any way you want it. So I'm just gonna draw that this has four field lines. Okay, one, two. So we know this one's negative, so that means these two are attracted to this, but they all have the same amount, so they can't all connect with this one. So how I'm gonna draw this, let's see. This one could be a little bit different. But how I'm gonna draw this is, let's see, one, two, three, four. So this one's probably gonna be connected like this. Negative is going in, positive is going out. And then I'm gonna say this and this are connected. Negative is going in. And then we're gonna say these two are connected over here. 
Again, if you didn't exactly draw it like this, that's totally fine. But the field lines are the main ones that should be. So they should all have the same amount of field lines. Positive should be going with the negative. Do, do, do. And the positive and positive should be repelling each other. So what's going to be happening over here is this one should be repelling with this one. They should not be connecting. So they should not be uh, connecting. They should be going outwards, going out away from each other. Okay. So it should look something like that. If it was a little bit different, that's uh, that's totally fine. But main things is the positive should not be connecting with one another. They should all have the same amount of electric field lines. And the negative should be going, it should be going towards the negative and the positive, it should be going out of it. All right. All right, good luck everybody. Thanks for watching.